Hi everybody, it's Mischievous Mel, live from Rockwell on Scene Music Magazine and Tattoo.com and I am here at day one of Louder Than Life. And who are these lovely guys I'm standing next to? We are For We Are Many from Detroit, Michigan. And you are? I'm Nathan, I play guitar. And you are? I'm Emilio, I play bass. Alright, and you are? I'm Logan, I do lead uh, the vocals. You're kind of shy for lead vocals. You were all like, I'm not standing by her. Either I look like I feel. <laughs> yeah. I'm Hector. I also play guitar. I am John Paul. I play drums and I do the clean vocals. So, guys, louder than life. Are you all like doing this? Oh my God. Yeah. You know? We're a little louder than life right now. You are? Yeah. You have to make that pun. That, yeah, I had to make that pun. That's literally that. my goal. The only reason I'm here was he to make this. He beat us pun. all to it. Yeah, he beat us all to it. We were all gonna do it, but. Yeah. So okay, so my serious question is, how'd you guys get on the bill? Because this is a pretty huge ass festival, and you know what went down to make this happen? Uh, Clay Bush. He um he. Go his... DWP. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Clay Bush has really been helping us out, helping us out a lot. He's been like pushing um. So like Danny, like just like trying to like, like I love these guys. You know, you got like you know listen to these guys, and he's been helping us out get to Chicago. He helped us get on this, and uh, we're hoping to get more shows. You know, yeah. Well, you know what I love about it is that like he's mentoring you, and I got to see a new band, so yeah. that's pretty awesome. Yeah. And you guys are newer, and I want to know how long you guys have been doing this. Like, broke broke out of your scene, and and kind of I'm gonna say world stage because yeah. there's a lot of. Yeah, fucking people yeah, from around yeah, the world yeah, here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh well, we've been we've been playing together with us five for about two years, almost going going on about two years. I mean, we went through a different bunch of lineup changes. Our only original member left is the drummer over here, so uh, he could probably tell tell the whole story. But we don't have we don't have all day for that. <laughs> but you don't have all day, huh? To make to make a long story short, we've been playing going on two years with us five, longest lineup we've had so far. So, so basically, you guys are, and I don't mean this in the in the mean way, in the music world, infants, like you know, just oh, starting I'm out. Oh, yeah. Yes, we are wee babies. We are the wee babies. We are wee babies. Yeah, we're I'm only eighteen. So. <laughs> we're we're basically nothing compared to any of these bands out yeah. here. Well, no, I wouldn't say you're not nothing because obviously you have talent to make it. But my question is, is you know, you've got to be looking at these people like. Holy shit! These were like the people that oh, made me want to pick up an instrument. Dude, yeah. I was freaking yeah. out this whole week, yeah. just trying to think about it. Like, how the fuck did this happen? Oh, I'm sorry. Can no, we... no, you can't. Uh, <laughs> it's all good. I'm sorry if I offended anybody. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I mean, honestly, like, I was freaking out this whole week just thinking about it. it I mean, it was crazy when we got the Chicago show, but like, yeah, it's bigger. still it just gets crazy. Yeah, it just gets oh. bigger and bigger. <laughs> it's, like... it's just exponential growth in like what we're playing okay so i'm gonna go around and i'm gonna ask from this festival who like made you fangirl the most um well i haven't seen him yet but uh definitely rob zombie i love rob zombie I, he was actually my first like big concert i've seen when it was at dte i think it was called hell on earth and that was my first like big show i ever went to and it was amazing <laughs> uh, ozzy osborne <laughs> like w when we showed up to her dressing room his his trailer is right by ours. I and we had our name like we have our own room like that in itself, like that we're right next to like sleeping with sirens and right there is Ozzy Osbourne, the Prince of Darkness. Like <laughs> Like I really can't talk about that. Like that's <laughs> that speaks for itself, like that's just crazy. But I am anyways. Well, I was gonna say you're gonna. Somebody's gonna say, "Oh my God!" You know, the best day of my life was when my child was born. You'd be like, "Fuck that!" Yeah. I was like next to Ozzy. Yeah, fuck my kids. Yeah. Open for yeah. open for Ozzy. Yeah. <laughs> Let's meet Ozzy. Oh my God! Oh my I God! Uh, next to the oh, guitarist of, of Mice and Men. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Um, no, it was definitely Ozzy for me. I grew up on um, like Ozzy Osbourne and Black Sabbath and all that stuff. So it's all. It's all really surreal. Like, you know, my dad and my mom showing me this stuff when I was like a little tyke. And that now. is good parenting right there. Very, very good, very good. Good exposure. Mine was Judas Priest and Queensryche. I was five years oh. old. My first concert was Black Dahlia Murder and Dying Fetus. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And you're a fangirl. Uh, Ozzy Osbourne because I, I love Black Sabbath because of Geezer Butler, Tony Iommi, and. Uh, Bill Ward. Bill Ward, sorry. And then, of course, Ozzy. But Rob Zombie, just because, you know, White Zombie was such an amazing band. 
Rob Zombie himself See, is such a great you're going back to a time mom. when I don't even think you were yeah. alive. So that's awesome. Yeah, no. And then just Rob Zombie's movies, too. Like, he's just oh, yeah. diverse in his art. And it's just, I don't know how to describe it. It's just amazing. Well, overwhelming, yeah. I would yeah. say. Yeah. What about you, sir? Uh, definitely Ozzy, of course. I got to jump on the hype train with that, the crazy train for Ozzy. <laughs> but um, thank you. Thank you. But, um, you know, also, I'm a huge Rob Zombie fan from a... Uh, from a director standpoint, I like his music, but I mean, uh, movies. I could sit and talk to that guy about Devil's Reject for hours. Oh, I, oh yeah. I, I know. Every time I watch that movie, I want to like swear. One sure of my favorite movies. I'm, like, I'm definitely still going to ask him about the third uh, installment. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm ready for that. But yeah, no, musically, definitely Ozzy. Dude. Like, and with Zach Wilde, too. Come on, it's the best lineup. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay, so now my next question is, I see you have to, I was going to ask, not by being a bitch, but are you guys old enough to have tats? But I see one, so I, yes! He's got, he's got I have three. Good. Have, Tell me all about those. I have a Dream Theater tattoo just because they're my favorite band. Okay. Uh, this one is in memoriam to uh, my uncle who had passed away. And then I have a chest tattoo in memoriam of my cousin. And then uh, I'm planning on getting uh, just some extra stuff like uh, koi fish. Uh, this whole sleeve, I was probably gonna do like a Greek uh, mythology theme, oh, you know, cool. from wrist starting at Hades all the way to my shoulder, ending at Zeus. And do you have an artist in mind? Uh, the guy who I've been going to is named, uh, he's at Lucky Monkey Tattoo, his name's uh, Brian. Brian, and, like, and what state is that in? Uh, in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Okay. The reason I ask is because this is seen worldwide and yeah. part of what Tattoo.com is, is we're kind of the dating service to match tattoo artists with people that might want tattoos. So yeah. shout out your guy. Anybody else got any ink or are we all virgins good? Not yet. Still, still clean. Still clean, clean right now. I got, my, I, got, I got my face painted at the fair once. Hey, that almost counts. Almost. Well, almost. I, mean, I can't say I'm the only one that can afford it, but I'm the only one that'll sit through it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. What Try to, try to say, him a bit. oh, all right. Well, he said it. Yeah. So. There might be a throwdown here. <laughs> so, for fans that have not yet seen you live, what can they expect from your live show? They can expect excitement. They can expect a lot of upbeat. They can expect a lot of dramatic, very epic uh, breakdowns, and um, they can expect a very good, entertaining performance. They can expect to be thrown in a mosh pit too, especially yeah. judging from today, man. Crazy. Crazy. So uh, what, what what was it like to look out and see a sea of hundreds and hundreds of people? I mean, like seriously, because I can't even imagine. Like I I opened a, a festival once just saying, hey, welcome to, the, you know, and I looked up and I was like, holy yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. What is it like to have those people like sit there and like feed off your energy like like well, that? It's the best feeling. Yeah. Well, you can go first. For me, it was a lot less nerve wracking because compared to Chicago, I didn't have my contacts. And so it was just a blur. <laughs> But I could see the movement, and it was spectacular. Cause I could see it all the way past the um, the uh, other sound booth back. That's uh, what would you say, maybe 75 yards, 60 yards if away. You, yeah, if you don't, know, if you don't know the festivals, there's nothing that doesn't take you 10 freaking minutes to walk to. So if you're saying oh, that, yeah. oh, yeah. your asses to elbows, people, and they're flying through the air to your music. Oh, so yeah. that's just amazing. Oh yeah, definitely. I'm kind of excited for you. Yeah, it's all. It's also like you know, it's crazy. Cause at least for me, I. We started the set, right? And then like, it felt like two minutes later it was over. You know, it just goes by so fast. It's, it's crazy, all these people. Yeah. yeah, I had that feeling when we were playing our last song. I'm like, wait, this is our yeah, last song. Yeah. Damn yeah. it. Over so fast. Damn yeah. it. Yeah. I'd play again if we could. <laughs> uh, it's actually funny, because as the drummer, I, I play to a click track. And in practice, uh, we, you know, we were going through everything. We like to play at kind of quicker tempos. But when you're playing live and your heart's racing, everything just feels so slow to me, at least. Yeah, everyone's it like, it went so fast, but the, the songs feel slow, but the set seems so fast. It's just... Yeah. You know, I'm so glad that you explained that from a drummer point of view, because I love music, but I'm the idiot that can't keep a beat. So when you guys are like, put your arms this way to the beat, I'm like, my kid has to clap my hands for me. But I can feel it. And I'm always wondering what it's like for, you know, obviously you see guitars and you see singers, but what is it like? Because you're the timepiece. Like, that's got to be fucked up. You're like the heart beating and like, that's uh, got to be weird. Uh, well, it's, it's, it's nice to have people who can follow me because I'm kind of a spastic drummer, you know. Uh, you know, my, my dad, he likes The Who a lot, and he always compares me to Keith Moon because I'm always all over the place. I like to do all kinds of things, and these guys can follow me, but I'm always to a click track, so I'm steady, 
when I'm all over the place. Uh, controlled chaos. I like that. Yeah. It's nice to know if this heart stops, we can keep going. Yeah. <laughs> So that's what you're going to get when you come and see these guys live on stage, Controlled Chaos. And we are about to go out, oh wait, before we leave, because we want everybody to know where to find you guys. So where are we next? Where can we find your music? Pimp yourself out like a two dollar whore. Go. All right. $2. So we can find us, you can find, we have a website called www.forwearemany.com. It's three W's. It's three W's. Sorry, I, I'm tired. Um, <laughs> We, and from there, you can find our, we have uh, Instagram, we have Facebook, we have Spotify, we have a Tumblr, we have like everything. Um, see us next, we're hoping to get on uh, Aftershock in Sacramento. We're really hoping to get on that. Um, yeah, <laughs> we've never been to California either, so I'm really hoping to get there. <laughs> um, and, uh, and for an album, we're actually gonna be, we're actually in a recording studio right now, and um, we're hoping to get that out between like, late December, early January. Okay, so now that you're in the studio, I know I was gonna let you go, but the writing process, are you all in on it? Or is it just like, it's like- mainly like, these two. Okay. Yeah. Uh, at least the older material before we were all in the band, it was mainly him and an old guitar player, Tom. Mm -hmm. uh, but the new stuff, it's just been kind of him and I bouncing off ideas and- uh, What's nice is we don't like to take credit a lot. Like, uh, they, we let them write their own parts. You know, we write, like, the bassist, and we give it to them, and we're like, what can we do with this, you know? And then me and him work together on what, are, what the vocals are going to be. I do all the lyrics, and we work the vocals out together. So uh, that's mainly how we work it. I play piano, so I, I can, you know, I can jam out a riff, and I can dabble on guitars, so and I can show him yeah. something. I could be like, dun 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 and it'll be like, dun 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 So, yeah, that's, that's mainly our writing process. It's, it's me and him getting the basis and then bringing it to everybody and making the song. Well, we look forward to that album and you can see them again here today. Well, it happened. And you make sure that you go and hit up their webpage because we want to see them at Aftershock because Tattoo.com and Rockwell Unseen is going to be at Aftershock and we want them to be there too. Hell yeah. Woo!